The gracious and glorious goodness of God Almighty be unto you in Jesus' name. Today is Passion Week Day 3. Passion Week Day 3 as we prepare to commemorate the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today I want to draw your attention to some of the events that took place within that time. I want to remind you of the fact that Jesus went to pray in Gethsemane. So we talk about uh, Jesus' prayer in Gethsemane. His betrayal and arrest. Then he was placed before Caiaphas and the council. And finally Peter, who promised not to deny him, as I shared with you yesterday, denies Jesus. You can find this from the Gospels, but I just want you to refer to Matthew chapter 26, 36 to 46. Matthew chapter 26, 47 to 50. Matthew chapter 26, 57 and 57 to 68 and then 69. So the first one is the fact that Jesus went to pray. He went with his disciples and the Bible says that at a point he left the whole disciples and went away with three of them. The three called disciples. The sons of Zebedee, James and John, and Peter. 36. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane and he said to the disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little further, he fell on his face and prayed, my father, if it is possible, let this car pass for me. But nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and he found them asleep. <laughs> Let me end here. Continue with the reading yourself. So Jesus trusted three of the disciples. He took them along together with the others. But he made the others leave. And then he went a little further and said, wait for me. Pray with me. My heart is so sorrowful. Jesus realizing the pain that agony was going to go through. He said, Lord, possibly let this car pass. But not my will, but let your will be done. He went to pray, supposedly, and was expecting the disciples to pray, but they were asleep. Prayer is something we cannot take for granted. We need to pray. We need to pray for others. We need to pray for our spouses. We need to pray for our nation and for our church. And I know if Jesus comes right now, he may meet a lot of people who are asleep in their prayer life. Don't be asleep in your prayer life. The second thing is that uh, it was at this point that Judas finally came to betray Jesus Christ. And so Jesus, uh, Judas came with the, the, the soldiers um, and he betrayed him with a kiss. We need to be careful uh, of the people we trust so much and the people who smile and seem to laugh with us and go with us because they are other people's friends also. And so whatever we share, whatever they know us go through, we trust them so much. There are times that they are tempted to reveal and to tell others. But Judas came and he greeted Jesus. He said, Rabbi, and with a kiss. And that was where they identified Jesus Christ. So you see the betrayal. Well, of course, we have also been betraying Jesus Christ but with our lives. But I want you to reassess your life. In any way you have betrayed Jesus Christ, come back to him. Have me- he will have mercy on you. Then finally, um, I want to deal with um, the fact that, no, Jesus was placed before Caiaphas and the council. Caiaphas was a chief priest at the time. And the council. And you see, Intentia, ah, aya yibu wa fufrosu. Judgments that are not correct and all that. Jesus went through it. And Peter, I remember, who, did, who said, No, if all the others will run away from you, I will be with you till death. Now denies Jesus Christ. Let's stand firm. Let's still look up to him. Let's still not dwell on our weaknesses. You may have fallen. Rise and follow Jesus. He is still with you. The Lord bless you. Shalom.